nice to wander. In the pack, the LK35. I'm only like a mile from a village really, if that. And you almost get the feel, almost, almost. Being in the middle of nowhere. These beautiful spots of woodland, panoramic of vistas all around. It is lovely. Easter weekend, but the weekend after and the weekend after. So I've got to spend some of the time with the family. But yeah, but anyway, this is yeah, like I say, this is a quick video. I've been sent this by some very kind people who I don't know, I suppose they watch my videos huh, and stuff. It's the LK35. So I'm going to talk about it a little bit, but not too much because there's hundreds of videos on it and I might be looking for a little bit of advice on modifying it because I'm not sure how intensive, how deep I'll go into modifying it. I'm really not sure. So I might want, yeah, I might ask for a little bit of advice on that from other people who have had this pack or have got this pack. But I've, I've used it a couple of times and I've walked three, four miles with it and it's, it's just as it comes. It's unmodified, got the same straps on there, everything, nothing's changed from how it is originally and I find it fairly comfortable to be fair but I know you can sort of do the straps and add a waist belt but I'll go into that more in a little while but yeah firstly I'd like to thank um, George and Linda a massive thank you for sending me this because I've had my eyes on one of these for ages and I'm not sure if it will be my complete go-to bag for everything but it, it may be it may be if I modify it just a little bit I don't want to over modify it but like yeah it may well be and I'll have a few redundant bags to get rid of. I've already got some redundant bags I need to clear out. I have already. But so far, I love this pack. And I am thinking of modifying it. So here's the bit where I ask for some advice on what I have in mind for it. Now, I'm not going to go way over the top. I see some people do some awesome things and it. It's each to their own what their pack's going to be used for, what they're going to do with it. Primarily me, that'll be little day camps and single overnighters. You could probably do a two-nighter. It's 35 litres, but it's a voluminous, and you've got capability to strap a bedroll, tent, sleep mat, whatever, on the top and the bottom. But yeah, I ain't gonna go too much into depth about the pack. But in regards to um, in regards to modifying it, I don't think you see me. I am gonna get a waist belt for it. Like I say the distance I've walked with it so far. I've had no issues really, the straps are thin, but I've had no issue with it personally, but I haven't walked like far for days on end or all day long with it. I've done three, four miles and haven't really noticed it a little bit towards the end of that when it was like well packed out when I used it the other week. But yeah, I'm gonna add a waist belt. That's something I'm definitely gonna do. And then something else that I'm not sure I'm doing and this is probably only as far as I go, a waist belt and some straps, some uh, some sort of pouches here. And I'm not sure to go down the molly route. I'm, I still may not even add the pouches, I'm definitely going to add a strap. I may not add the pouches, but I've bought some pouches with 
a modification to the side in mind. And I'll show you the pouches I've got. So if you've got one of these and you've used these pouches, tell me what you think. But yeah, I don't mind having the odd bit strapped on the outside, the odd bit. The pouches I have for it, I've got loads in here. <laughs> the pouches I have for it are these Swedish. Swedish army pouches, they come with a yoke and a water bottle and stuff and it goes onto your webbing onto the webbing of it like that i've got two of these i'm not going to dig the other well don't need to dig the other one out but there it is onto the each side one of them sew it on i suppose you'd need to use pretty strong old cordage to do that and i'm assuming you take you, you just cut that cut that and take these metal bits out or I could put a bit of the webbing belt on there and then attach it like so just straight on the webbing belt I'm not sure which route to go down yet and I'm not even sure I'm going to add these to it I'm not so any thoughts on that from anyone who's got one of these and especially some of these what did you do did you just sew it down the seams here leave a gap at the top so you can get stuff in there or did you put the webbing belt on and then put it on put it on the belt so you can take it on and off so you don't have to have them on there all the time you need some thick old thread i haven't got a sewing machine so i'll be using a thimble and a big old needle and some strong thread and any advice on that as well would be of a help i don't really want to take it to anyone i want to do it myself really i'm not that good at that sort of stuff but i think i'll be all right so yeah, that is all this video is really. A little bit of advice on that, the LK35, and a massive thank you to George and Linda for sending me this pack. It's very much appreciated. I've never been sent nothing by anyone. And it's like, it's like quite humbling. And thank you very much. I'm gonna set up for a little day camp now, but I'm not gonna film any of that because I'm just gonna chill for an hour or so. Any advice regarding simple, basic modifications to the LK35? I know people go, do all sorts of stuff but all i want all i definitely want is the waist waist belt which i'm going to get the military mark at some point and i may put these on but i'm not sure in how just yet thank you for watching if you did and thank you george and linda take care bye bye